Ready to go then for the supercar final here for round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship at Pembrey. Patrick O'Donovan lines up on pole position. Derry Tohill, Tristan Avenden alongside Godfrey and Hill on the second row. And Ollie O'Donovan, who's had a difficult day in the office, lines up at the back of the grid. Ready then to go racing. Let's see who gets the best start. Green light and blast off. On board we ride with Steve Hill down to the first corner. Looks like Patrick O'Donovan's got the whole shot and leads the way ahead of Derry Tohill through onto the gravel. So a brilliant start there for the youngster in only his third supercar event in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. But the crucial question is who is going to go Joker on the opening lap? They all make it through. Steve Hill peels off. He goes Joker. We ride on board then with the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo driver. He's going to be right at the back of the grid. But crucially for him, he's going to have clear track in front of him. So let's see whether he can take advantage of that. Tristan Elmenden getting really sideways there, coming through the back part of the circuit. And he now comes under a bit of pressure here from Julian Godfrey as well. So at the end of lap one, it's Patrick O'Donovan from Derek Tohill then, as they come sliding their way on through the gravel section then. And what a brilliant event it has been so far for POD. As I mentioned, only his third ever event in the supercars and he's been driving this weekend, especially like he's been in that car for his entire life as he leads the way down the back straight from Toehill, from Tristan Ovenden, and Ovenden also having the best weekend we've seen of him so far in 2022. Let's hope that that form continues for the Kent-based driver then. So, as they start another lap, it's still O'Donovan that leads the way. Now, is Derek Tohill going to be thinking about the Joker lap at this point? When is he going to be thinking about going into that lap? Will he try to get the undercut here on Patrick O'Donovan? Through onto the gravel section we go. O'Donovan leads the way. There goes Tohill then. He goes Joker on lap three. So trying to get himself out of traffic, trying a different strategy and trying crucially to get the undercut. But he's really close there to Wally O'Donovan as he emerges from that Joker. He just about manages to get ahead of the older O'Donovan in this race. And as I said earlier on, crucially has that clear track in front of him there. So that is brilliant for Derek Tohill. Let's see how that changes things for Patrick O'Donovan, because now he's got Tristan Ovenden not too far behind. Ovenden, as we know, has not jokered yet in this race. Meanwhile, further back, there's Steve Hill with Julian Godfrey running really close to one another. Here then is O'Donovan. He goes through into the left-hander, onto the back straight. Ovenden's going to get ahead as... Uh, as he goes, Joker then does the race leader then. So here's Ovenden. He's now in the race leader, hasn't made that Joker lap. And he's got Patrick O'Donovan breathing down his neck here. This is a battle for the race lead. But of course, it's all in vain because Ovenden's going to have to make the Joker lap. Is O'Donovan going to try and force the issue though? Down the inside, he has a look into that hairpin bend. He gets through on Tristan Ovenden and takes the race lead back. Phenomenal driving there from Patrick O'Donovan. He didn't really need to do that, but of course, time is going to be absolutely crucial here in this final. Al Ovenden is going to go Joker. That's going to promote Derek Tohill back into the podium positions and problems there for Steve Hill. I think he's had a spin on the infield of the circuit. The Mitsubishi Lancer Evo has come crawling to a halt and there you can see broken front right suspension for Hill. That's a huge shame for him to make it through to the final and end in such disappointing style. Bradley Westcarf there having to take avoiding action and they just about manages to make his way through but Steve Hill there with a hugely anticlimactic end to the final here for round three. In stark contrast, here is Patrick O'Donovan who leads the way. You can see there Ovenden does go Joker then. So into it goes the number 72. Where is Ovenden going to emerge? Could it be on for a podium here if he can get himself out in third place? I think he has done. So it's Ovenden into third position, which will be his first podium of the 2022 season. Here comes though Patrick O'Donovan. What a phenomenal drive it has been for him as he gets his way through. There is Bradley Westgarth going past the stricken car of Steve Hill as we ride on board here with O'Donovan once again. And I can't emphasize just how impressive this performance has been from Patrick O'Donovan as they skate their way through the dust, back onto the tarmac, down the back straight and in towards the, the Brooklyn's hairpin we go. Meanwhile, there is Julian Godfrey, the six-time champion, just about managing to make his way past. It's been something of a quiet event for him, but not for Patrick O'Donovan as he comes across the timing line to win 
the round three final in the supercars in only his third ever event. Derek Tohill comes home second and it's Tristan Ovenden who finishes on the podium for the first time this year. What a fantastic performance from all of our drivers. Great to see Julian Godfrey inside the top four with Bradley Westgarth coming home in uh, fifth and sixth place with Ollie O'Donovan in and amongst the mix. There is Ollie O'Donovan, the older of the O'Donovans, coming over the line with Bradley Westgarth very close behind. But a phenomenal job there for Patrick O'Donovan. He takes the win in the round three final. He is delighted here at Pembrey.